Hey everybody, Aaron Nelson, weather forecaster here for NBC5 News. Thank you for checking us out online. Hopefully you've had a nice Sunday, been enjoying the Olympics and the cooler weather. As we look at the radar, the cool front we had have, has already gone through, passed over us, had some clouds this morning you may have noticed, and possibly some drizzle, depending on where you are. But as we go through for today, it really has cleared out, and all we have left in the sky is probably going to be some smoke. Well, you might have, might have some clouds where you are, but not a lot. Air quality, it has improved. This is going to be back and forth, as I mentioned before in previous forecasts, because this is just something we're going to be dealing with for a while. A lot of fires going on. Alturas, right now, this is still in the red. Mount Shasta, this was even some since yesterday, so Saturday night. This was in the very unhealthy for the purple. But during the day today, it has improved. Everywhere else is yellow or green. That is good news. But again, with the smoke passing through, checking out that surface smoke. That segue. Have a lot of that in Northern California really getting the worst of it. Mount Shasta, as mentioned right there, the very unhealthy. So it is going to be passing through for quite a while. It's going to be back and forth depending on the during the day and when it happens, when it is worse, when it is better. But just expect and anticipate this is something we're going to have to deal with for a while. It's going to be good for a few hours and it's going to be bad and good and bad and just back and forth that, like that. So if you're planning something outside, it's got to be really careful. It's a small window. Watches and warnings. We do have the excessive heat watch for Douglas, Jackson, Josephine and Siskiyou counties. It's going to be going pretty much all week. It technically wouldn't really start probably till Tuesday, but we are going to start to heat up and we're going to have triple digits. Excessive heat watch though most of the week. Also right here we have another this red goes all the way up past Portland, by the way. Fire weather watch Coos and Douglas and Lane. The parts that really pertain to us though are these areas. This is going to expire Wednesday at 9 p.m. It could be extended because again we're going to be triple digits, which you'll see in the 70 forecast in just a minute. For tonight, partly cloudy for the entire coast. Gusts of 23 to 32 mile an hour for everywhere. And also going to be a pretty breezy night between 10 and 25 miles an hour. Tomorrow, sunny, but it's going to be partly cloudy for Crescent City. Everywhere is going to be breezy between 11 and 21 miles an hour. North Bend, Bandon, and Crescent City. So Brookings, we're leaving you out of this one. You're going to have gusts between 21 and 33 mile an hour. So it's going to be, it's going to be pretty breezy and windy tonight for everybody. West Valley's. Clear for most places. We have some gusts in Roseburg and Cave Junction of 21 miles an hour. Also, Ashton, Wairika, and Mount Shasta about 20, and then hazy and smoky. Pretty much most places aside from Roseburg. Tomorrow will be pretty sunny, but it's also going to be some possibility of the haze and smoke. Looking east of the Cascades, similar story. A little bit cooler, as you see, it's a lot of 80s here and 70 there for Crater Lake. But still. 80s isn't too bad. Hazy Apache smoke tonight. Gusts for Christmas Valley Paisley and Klamath Falls of about 21 miles an hour. And tomorrow, sunny and breezy and some smoke and haze possible as well. Now for the seven day. Drum roll. Now here we go. There we go. 106 for Wednesday and Thursday. Could be higher, but you're gonna, it's going to be hot. It's going to be hot this week. Slight chance of thunderstorms in the PM, probably towards the evening for Friday. And then look at that 70 for your low Friday and Saturday. As we look to the Klamath Basin, a similar story, you have a slight chance for Thursday and Friday. Looking towards the evening, you're going to be flirting with 100 Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and Saturday. You might even get to 100. We'll see. And then mid upper 50s for your lows. Looking at Northern California, similar as expected to Rogue Valley. For Thursday and Friday as well, a slight chance in the evening for thunderstorms. You're going to be around 103 for Wednesday and Thursday, topping out that. Getting back down into the 90s for Sunday. So that's maybe some sort of relief. And to the coast, partly cloudy, some sun most of the week. And you're going to be in the low 70s and the mid 50s for your lows.